next to others, we have a bus and we have people on the bus. Now, the Republicans are just going to let the bus run into the ground. The other Democrats will put gas in it, they'll give it a tune-up, they'll give it an oil change. But what the people's bus really needs is a rebuilt engine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Thanks and delight to all of you who gathered on this frigid Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Another evidence of your determination to let nothing stop us in our quest for jobs and peace and justice. This is a critical time of year for us in our nation. We have one of the great freedoms, the right to choose our government and its leaders. We have the right to fight for the right. We're called this year to make big choices. We the people can make the choice and determine our leadership. But we must not surrender our spirits or surrender our franchise. In 1984, 85 million Americans who had the right to vote surrendered their franchise and voted for no one. They said, let them run it. But we are the them, and we have the responsibility to make choices and to make judgment. Your vote does count. In 1960, John Kennedy beat Nixon by 112,000 votes. Less than one vote for precinct determined John Kennedy's victory because we the people asserted ourselves. In 1968, Mr. Nixon beat Mr. Humphrey by 500,000 votes. Dr. King was killed in April, Robert Kennedy in June. Our spirits were broken and we surrendered. In 60, we did our best and we won. In 68, we did less than our best, and we lost. When we do our best, we always make a difference. As we gather today, our challenge is bold leadership, a new direction, and sound ideas. We've just come through the Christmas holiday season, and not challenge the distortion of the meaning of the event. It's not about people buying each other and buying gifts. Christmas is about an abandoned couple rejected by the bureaucrat and abandoned by Herod who headed the government. We who care must not abandon the people. There are four to six million homeless people. We must not abandon them. We must not be the insensitive innkeeper or the indifferent government. We must build houses for the homeless in our nation and provide jobs for the job. We must revive a war on poverty and end the war on the poor and put America back to work. Yeah. That's our challenge. Yeah. There was a $32 billion budget for HUD. It's now been cut by 80%. People are living abandoned in cars, on the bridges, in hallways, in the back of cars, living double, living triple. And birds of the air have nests, and foxes have holes. Can we not, as a society, provide houses for the homeless? and education for our children, and health care for the sick. We have the moral obligation to provide long-term health care, housing for the homeless, and education for our children. That's the core of our campaign. Yeah.